Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I thought I would share my outfit of the day with you guys. It is not quite cold here, but chilly enough for a jacket. I know, I keep complaining about the heat. I'm sorry, I shouldn't, because I know there are people who do not have any electricity who are freezing. Um, so I really do need to stop, and I try to remind myself of that all the time. Anyhow, um, really quick, my hair back here got kind of out of hand, and um, my husband, trimmed it up for me with a pair of scissors. He just kind of went across my neck to take that little duck tail out because that was just really bothering me. And then these sides had become so kind of long that it was looking a little weird for me. So all I did is I took my hair like this and I cut into it um, to kind of take some of the length out. And I probably didn't do it right. I know that's a technique that hairstylists use um, to kind of take length but leave you know, this kind of, I guess, angle. And you can see over here where I need to do it to match, you know, over here. Um, just so that it looks a little neater while it's growing out uh, because this kind of top part is starting to come down here. Um, but, you know, I don't want it to look scraggly. And that's kind of the frustration with growing this cutout is once it gets to my neck, it starts to look, to me, it starts to look a little scraggly, and I don't like that because I like the put-together look. And right now, I'm, I'm just kind of going back and forth. I want to grow my hair out, um, but I really do like this cut a lot. I love the sleekness of the cut and the fact that even with no makeup on in, you know, sweatpants, my hair always looks put together. I always look put together. And it's kind of something that I've clung to for... I guess I've had this cut for five years now. So it's something that I've just kind of clung to. It's been kind of my security thing. Um, I know that, you know, no matter what, my hair looks good, I look put together. Um, and, and my fear with growing it out is that it will just end up in a ponytail like it always did before I had this cut. Um, and ponytails look nice and put together too, but that was just something that I always did um, because it was just easier. And so I don't want that. So I don't want to get like, you know, super long hair, anything like that. Um, I've had that and I love it. It looks beautiful. I used to, you know, wear it down and really curly the, the way that everybody wears it now. Um, and it looked beautiful. I'm just not into it anymore. Um, I'm not into the, you know, high maintenance of, of having to style it like that every day and taking forever. So I'm thinking just, you know, shoulder length, maybe I'm um, really straight, maybe doing some, you know, bangs or something. But right now I'm literally just excited about being able to get my hair into kind of a bun. Like that's, you know, I'm kind of, I'm aiming for just bun length um, or French twist or, you know, just wearing it back period. I did pull it back into a little ponytail the other day and I had little hairs down here, but the majority of it went back. And that was kind of exciting because I haven't been able to do that for five years. So, you know, I'm just kind of playing with it. And I can tell you, I will always, always come back to this cut because this is just for me, my absolute favorite. It's kind of, you know, it's just something that I feel comfortable with. So I will always come back to this. My husband loves this cut out of all the hair I've had. And I've had, you know, long hair. I've had blonde hair. I've had very dark black hair, brown hair, reddish brown. I mean, I've had so many different colors. He prefers this kind of <clears throat> chocolate brown and cuts, you know, even with the long hair. He loved it, but he said it just took forever. And this, he says, he likes a lot more. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'm, you know, in between every day, I'm just like, okay, I'm growing it out. And then the next day I'm like, no, I'm getting it trimmed this weekend. And then, you know, the following day I'm growing it out again. I'm just going back and forth. So just hang in there with me. I'm going to try and keep it neat. Uh, meanwhile, I um, grow it out or decide not to grow it out. I don't know. You know, you're just wishy-washy. Anyway, so here's my outfit. <clears throat> and then I'm going to show you two things. First up, flats and heels. Because I uh, do sometimes take flats with me when I wear heels for the simple reason that I'm in and, out of, in and out of my car and sometimes I have to run into like a CVS or a Walgreens or something or um, if I'm running an errand, it's easier just to go in my flats than it is to go in my heels. But then since I'm at the office, it's, you know, heel, you know, it just depends. So I'll show you both options. So that is my, those are my Tory Burch flats, um, the patent leather ones, they look like that. And here would be a pair of heels, which always, always, always amps up your outfit and makes it look so much nicer. 
um, just, you know, a pair of heels. The height that gives you dazzle bag. Um, my heels are my Target Pierce pumps. Um, they're just patent leather ones. Black Old Navy Rockstar jeans. These are not so casual that I can't wear them to work, but you know they may not work in everybody's work environment. Um, my belt is just a skinny black belt. I'm pretty sure it's from Target. Not exactly sure though. This shirt, which gapes a little bit, shows my camisole, is from Macy's and it just looks like that it's just a sheer black with white polka dots um, and a necktie and then my target blazer which you can wear with the sleeve pulled back or undone i'm doing it undone today because i don't need that contrasting um you know sign so this is kind of as cold as we are right now or as chilly as we are just a light jacket works um and then my bangles my Kate Spade one, and then my Forever 21 bangle, regular, regular, yeah, like regular, because everybody has like a million different rings, right? No, um, my wedding rings, my normal wedding rings, and then my uh, diamond studs. On my face, I have on Max Melba blush with some Dame on top. On my eyes, I've got, okay, <laughs> I have um, in the crease, soft brown, Swiss chocolate and then bronze from here up to the socket line. Um, I'll buy Max some black eyeliner. I put some soft brown, no, some chocolate, Swiss chocolate and bronze down here. And then on my lips, I've got a Smashbox uh, Media lip liner, which is just kind of nude, and then some Mac Dreamy lip gloss on top of that. And that is my face of the day. Um, I did put some vanilla up here as highlight, and it's all Mac typical right um there you go so that is it have not painted my nails yet hopefully that will happen this weekend for sure because i haven't painted them in two weeks um that is that and i hope you guys are doing excellent um i have a the cincy giveaway that i need to close out and then i'm keeping tabs on the other two and then i'll get those done um also i've got some videos coming up uh red lip tips dark lip tips and then um how I pick my brown eyeshadows. I had some requests to do those. So if you have anything else that you're um, wondering or you want me to make a video on, put it down below so that I can remind myself because I try to write everything down, um, but sometimes I skip over. So there's that. And thanks so much for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.